Hey Logan, <laughs> my name's Derek. <laughs> Super pumped. Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Alright, so uh, obviously obviously, I know who you are, but um, just kind of as an in introduction for everyone yeah. uh, that's watching at home, just tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and what you do here at Boise Bible College. So presently, I am the president of the college, but I'm also still in the classroom, so I came to the college 10 years ago as a professor, and I still do some uh, instruction, but my role now is the president. All right, and that's, you're the head honcho here, so. Oh man, <laughs> team effort, man, team effort. Team effort. <laughs> so you're no stranger to preview. No, Yeah. no. You've, you've had a hand in it for quite a while. Yes, Good. yeah. Well, then, just kind of starting on that, so this year's theme for preview is called Start the Change. So, just tell us a little bit about, as, as the speaker this year, tell us a little bit, a little bit about um, what, what should students be expecting? Yeah, so, you know, part of that change that, that we're going to promote starting really starts with me and you and each person that comes, that, that as we seek God's kingdom, that something of change might happen here. And if that change starts here, as we seek that kingdom, then I think a bit of a kingdom paradigm or a kingdom lens becomes then that much more important through which to see things in our communities that need to be changed. So I really want to talk about, you know, in light of the social justice um, issues that are swirling around in our counties, in our communities, in our states, is, is looking at biblically. And actually there are a couple of biblical words that I think would help us understand what it means to have a social justice. Those two words matter. And I, my conclusion is it becomes more of a gospel justice than just a social justice. And so whatever issue we might really have a, a passion for um, to see change happen, that, I, that we become change agents to start a gospel justice. What's that look like? So I'm excited to be able to try to address that. Cool, cool. I like that. I think that that that's a topic that we we need today, and so I'm I'm glad to hear that you're taking on some. Yeah, I mean it's not without some trepidation because there, it, it's a daunting topic, and we all have sort of some working assumptions when it comes to social justice by definition or issues, and we all kind of have a, maybe an a, a opinion or a bias one way or the other. So how to try to handle that? It, in a biblical way, in, in a gospel justice way, so that we can at least have some guiding principles. And, and my, I guess my goal would be that we could walk away from the weekend thinking about a, a, how to be biblical in my thought towards that issue. What would the Bible have me think about about that issue? So seeking the kingdom first about fill in the blank issue that I have a passion about. Or, you know, how did Jesus think about that? And I think we kind of think we think how Jesus might think about it, but how do, let, let's square that up and let's try not, and that's going to be the real key, I think, for us to be the, the change agents he desires us to be. Yeah, I think that's so true. We, we think we think what Jesus would think. <laughs> that's perfect. Well, may we think more like what he would think is exactly. would be our goal for preview. And then to maybe tack it on, I mean, preview is a preview of what Boise Bible College is about. And so this isn't the real heartbeat of our college that we become um, biblical change agents, that we think scripturally about that. And, and one of the things that, uh, you know, I was talking with you a moment ago about that, is I think we get driven for social justice issues towards a, a changing of a policy, but Jesus was all about the changing of a person. And it starts with me, but it starts with the person. I'm not saying policy shouldn't be addressed or things shouldn't be, you know, uh, championed or, or picked up and, and tried to overhaul as a pro but, but what about the person that is on my heart? Jesus was always about interacting with people and that seemed to set a new precedent within communities. You, and, 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 and policy almost came up from the grassroots of the people that became transformed in interacting with them. Now that's gospel justice in my estimation. So and to give a, a preview of what BBC is about, that's what we do. We, we want to help our students think how to become more scripturally aware and therefore more self-aware so we can become more socially aware. And to have students want to come to campus to be part of this event and to capture our heartbeat, wow, that's that's a great opportunity. Yeah. That, that's actually a perfect transition. My, my next question was, 
Um, obviously, the theme this year being start the change, we're, we're talking all about how to be an agent for change, as you put it. So um, students that are coming to preview this year, how should they expect to be prepared? Um, what tools should they expect to add to their tool belt to become a, an agent of change in their communities, in their spheres of influence? Yeah, well, I hope over a weekend, at least we can whet the appetite that scriptural awareness and a biblical literacy, if I can say it that way, that we become become more biblically minded, that really getting that in place is, is ultimately the goal of this weekend and what BBC is about, what the college is for, is to kind of set that and square that up and to check that all the time because once that gets kind of out of, out of whack or, or uh, the focus isn't clear, then we're not dealing with that social issue near as well as the way Jesus would. So a, a tool would be that at least I'm thinking more biblically. And at least I'm thinking more theologically or maybe more like Christ would. I think those are tools. And then you can fill in the issue with whatever the issue is your youth group wants to talk about or, or your church or your family. Drop that issue into that, uh, that lens. Ah, then I think we can process things a little better. At least that's my hope. That's my goal. I think that would, if I was a student, that I would be happy to believe with that. So. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Plus, I think, uh, you know, this is a real, like I'm talking about, it, Jesus was always about trying to change the person. So to have the interaction point here on campus with the students might actually create a dialogue rather than just, I mean, I'll be speaking for 20 or 30 minutes, but to actually create conversation moments on campus or even off of campus, I think those become good tools. That, that dialogue point, person to person, becomes a real uh, ingredient for being a change agent. Mm, I agree. And that kind of on not a lighter topic, but on, on kind of a different path. Um, you've been around for, for many previews, um, having experienced them both um, in positions of leadership and both as position, you know, more fun-based positions. Yeah. Um, what are you most looking forward to for preview 2020? Yeah, I, I always enjoy on any preview event the interaction with the youth leaders. Uh, that come on campus, that matters a great deal to me, to our college, and also to meet some of their students, you know, to, to be able to interact with them in some way. So that matters a lot. And what, what's fun for me is some of those students actually, I get to see them in the very next fall when they start college, or maybe a year into the future when they come and become a college student. It's like, oh yeah, I remember meeting you at Preview. Those are fun moments for me. I, I look forward to that as well. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Well, cool. Um, anything else that we should know about preview coming up this April? Well, I think it's it's a significant topic for us to continue to address. Um, so, uh, you know, I would I would ask this that we just become prayers prior to preview. That we pray that if you're planning to come or if you're going to send some students to come, that you actually okay, Lord, what do you want to do on me? What do you want to do through the college? What do you want to do through that event? And commit this in prayer, not just that we, as the organizers of the event, but actually all of us who are planning to participate would become prayer warriors about this change agent idea and what it means to actually be an agent of God for the health of our communities with gospel justice. I think praying is going to be the key. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Thanks, right. Logan. Yeah, thank you, Derek. All right. Sign off. Give, give a thumbs up. Say goodbye.